I've got 22 packs today, which makes this the biggest episode of random packs of hockey cards yet. Welcome back everybody, as you heard in the intro to this video, I've got 22 packs today, which is just amazing. This is going to be the probably biggest opening on random packs of hockey cards yet. But the one difference here is that uh, most of these are lower end packs, so a little less expensive than the past openings. But maybe this is what you enjoy more, the uh, lower end stuff. I don't particularly enjoy the uh, high end cards, it's a little too much stress, so this should be a nice little breeze here. We've got 0910 OPG Retail, not really expecting anything out of these packs, but uh, we've got 0910 MVP Retail. Then we've got 0607 Parkhurst Retail, and we've got 0708 OPG Hobby. And then 2006-2007 Heroes and Prospects Hobby, 2017-18 Toronto Maple Leaf Centennial. Yep, I guess I had to get another one of those. 11-12 Series 2 Retail, and then 0708 Heroes and Prospects Hobby, and then 15-16 OPG Hobby, 12-13 Series 1 Retail, 0506 Parkhurst Retail, the Sidney Crosby rookies in here, and then 17-18 OPG Hobby. 2017-18 Series 1 Retail, and then 0809 Heroes and Prospects Hobby, 1718 Series 2 Retail, 1819 Opeachy Hobby, 0506 MVP Retail, again the uh, Crosby rookie year, as well as the Ovechkin one, 0809 Fleer Ultra Hobby, then 1920 Opeachy Hobby, 2003-2004 Upper Deck Series 2 Hobby, and then 2021 Opeachy Hobby, as well as 0506 Fleer Ultra Retail. So this is going to be a massive opening. I'm going to go really fast because uh, there are 22 packs and I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to grab these and try and fan these out nicely here in the back. Here we go. All right, so don't know how that looks, but uh, let's just jump right in. We've got 22 packs. First one being 0910 OPG Retail. It is possible to hit uh, something big, so we'll have to see if we can get an autograph or a uh, jersey. They're super hard to find, though, so I have my doubts, but uh, let's just see. So we've got a uh, base card of Andre Mazeros. These are the base cards on top. Not bad looking, and then uh, we've got a Tony Esposito Legend, as well as a Mike Comrie. I guess this is a uh, rainbow card. Not bad for the Ottawa Senators. And then we've got an upside down card of Andy McDonald, Brendan Morrow, and Chris Mason, brother of Steve Mason, I believe. Uh, let's push these a little back and put the inserts there on the top right. And now let's do 0910 MVP Retail. There are uh, two on two jerseys, which fall one in 48 packs. So that would be pretty nice, but uh, it doesn't seem like we have anything thick. So probably no jersey cards in this pack. Let's just see. We've got Mike Medano. I really like these uh, MVP cards. They look really nice. And then Evgeny Nabokov, and then Mark Mathot. We've got Joe Corvo, Mason Raymond, and a rookie of John Scott. No way! <laughs> yes, that is so sick. John Scott MVP rookie. That is so cool. John Scott, just such a legend. If you haven't uh, listened to his podcast, you should definitely go check it out. It is, uh, yeah, super awesome. And that is a really nice card. Paul Correa and Cam Barker, former third overall pick, if I'm not mistaken. Now we've got 0607 Parkhurst Retail. Autos for this are 1 in 36 packs. So pretty hard to find, but uh, it is possible. We've got Tom Johnson and then Dick Irvin. And then Jim Rutherford, and then we've got Matt Snazland, former Hab. So, all base in this pack of Parkhurst. Now we're going to try 0708 OPG Hobby. Here are the odds on the back. It is possible to get a pretty cool card, considering this is a hobby pack. So let's see. We've got the base cards here on top. Chris Kelly, not a bad looking design. This is... A pretty nice looking card. Craig Conroy, Ryan Craig, Scott Thornton, and a Marky Rookies of Vili Koistinen. There you go, Vili Koistinen. Marky Rookie card. Not bad. Not as good as the uh, John Scott, though. And then fill the Thrill Kessel with the Boston Bruins. That's pretty funny. Okay. Now we've got Heroes and Prospects hobby from 0607. I have no idea how rare the hits are. I believe they might be actually like 1 in 9 packs, maybe 1 in 12 or something. But let's see if we can uh, get lucky enough to hit something. That would be pretty fun. 
So we've got uh, very nice looking base cards. We've got John Tavares on top. Very nice looking. And then upside down, we've got, uh, here we go, uh, Yuri Lusty and then Brandon Sutter. And then we've got right here, uh, Peter Stastny, hero, and then a decoy, basically. The uh, he shoots, he scores, redemption points are basically just decoys. Then we've got Tim Thomas back when he was in the American Hockey League. Very interesting. Now we've got the Toronto Maple Leaf Centennial. Autos are 1 in 24 packs. As much as I don't love the Leafs, it would be pretty nice to hit a uh, an autograph card in this. That would be pretty great. Let's see if we can uh, get lucky enough to get one here. Grant Fior, Charlie Conacher, and Austin Matthews here. This is a, a memorable moments card, but uh, it seems like it's part of the base set, so I won't actually put it aside. Ron Ellis, Terry Sawchuk, so nothing special there. Now we've got 1112 Series 2 Retail. Uh, there's the Roman Yossi Young Guns in this, which is pretty good. That'd be really nice, actually. Uh, we've got Marcus Johansson, Kevin Bieksa, Ray Emery, and a Vili Leno uh, victory update card. Not really good, but uh, that's all right. Uh, massive contract, Vilileno. Nabokov, David Booth, Kyle Quincy, and Patrick Eliash. Okay, now we've got 0708 Heroes and Prospects Hobby. Let's see if one of these uh, Heroes and Prospects packs can uh, give us a nice hit. That would be pretty nice. So we've got a Jean-Simon Allard, I guess. Riley holds up full of P.K. Subban, and then... Another one of these uh, redemption points, unfortunately, and then Alexei Cherepanov, rest in peace, and then a uh, duels of uh, Jordan Caron and uh, Vinny Le Cavalier. So nothing too spectacular there. Now we've got 2015-16 OPG Hobby. That would be uh, pretty awesome to hit something big out of this. Come on, let's see something awesome come out of this uh, hobby pack. We've got Yager, Falk, Froelich, Talbot. Then a Jonathan Taves upside down card, just a rainbow parallel, and then a Lars Eller retro. That's pretty nice for Montreal. I like getting uh, Habs inserts. David Pasternak and Thomas Tatar. Okay, now 12 13 Series 1. Still hunting for the uh, Jake Allen Young Guns. I'd like to see that come out of here. That would be pretty amazing. So let's see, we've got Jerome Eginla, Nikita Nikitin. Jose Theodore, and then Patrick Hornquist, and Martin Hansel, Stamkos, Johansson, and Timu Solani. All base, unfortunately. Maybe we can get something here in uh, Parkhurst, 0506 Retail. Anything uh, Sidney Crosby? That'd be pretty amazing. Let's see. We've got, uh, ooh, upside down cards here. I guess I'll just flip the entire stack here. We've got uh, Marcel Hosa, former Hab, Chris Drury, and then, ooh, flip them again. We've got Steve... Conowalchuk, and then Alex Ald, former Hab backup there, and then uh, we've got Darian Hatcher, and a captain's card of Marcus Nasland. Okay, I guess I'll put that aside. No Crosby rookie, unfortunately. Maybe we can get something cool in 17-18 uh, OPG hobby. Good thing about these uh, cheaper packs is we're not necessarily expecting anything, so I won't be too disappointed if we don't get anything in this uh, opening, but uh, it would be nice to uh, get a huge hit out of one of these uh, cheaper breaks. Nick Shore, Smith Pelly, Matt Cullen, Kevin Shattenkirk, Brian Gianta. That's pretty cool. A uh, mini black rainbow parallel of uh, Braden Shen. That's pretty cool. And then uh, we've got a retro card of Colton Sissons. For the Nashville Predators and then Steven Stamkos. Now 1718 Series 1 Retail. Looking for the uh, Brock Besser Young Guns would be one of them. Alex Debrinkit's another one. Let's see if we can even uh, hit one of those. Matt Martin, Brady McNabb, Kyle Brodziak, Dustin Brown, and another base pack here. Not doing too well on these. Now maybe we can get something here out of uh, 0809 Heroes and Prospects. Want to see a hit come out of one of these. They're not so hard to find. We've got Nick Ross, Dreesen Bowman, Nick Foligno, and another redemption point card. That's not good, unfortunately. Mathieu Perrault and Yuri Lusti, once again. All right, now we've got 1718 Series 2 Retail. Can we get anything out of this? Come on, let's see. Uh, oh, I think we've got a Young Guns coming. So Larkin, Rask, a checklist, and then Daly, and a Robbie Russo Young Guns. So once again, not a very big name, but a Young Guns hit is still a pretty nice card. Stastny, Shattenkirk, and Eric Goodbranson. All right, now we're looking for the uh, Scott Foster marquee rookie card. That would be so awesome if we could uh, get that. But let's see. 
That's a pretty nice card, though. Corey Perry, Sam Gong, you've got a marquee rookies coming up. Jordan Wheel, Michael Stone, and a Neil Pionk. Marquee rookies. So no Scott Foster, unfortunately. But uh, still a nice one. Neil Pionk's pretty good. And then we've got, ooh, card fell. And <laughs> we've got a Bo Horvat retro card. As well as an Aaron Eckblad mini that I totally did not see coming. Uh, yeah, completely fell down, but uh, still a nice card. McAvoy, Kempe, and Mark Stone. Okay, now we've got MVP 0506. Here are the odds here for uh, the MVP. Let's see if we can get a Crosby rookie. That is uh, what I'm chasing for sure. Maybe an Ovechkin. That would be just as good. So we've got Mike Newble, and then Timu Solane, Joe Neuendijk, Wayne Primo, Steve Iserman, uh, Vili Nieminen, Martin Lapointe, and a final card, we've got Tim Taylor. So all base in that pack, unfortunately. Let's try out the uh, 0809 Fleer Ultra Hobby. This one feels a little thicker. Might be just a decoy, though. I don't know. Actually, seems like we... Oh, I think we do have something, actually. Nicholas Backstrom, Martin Hansel, uh, Martin Erat, and then uh, Mats Sundin. Difference Makers, and then a Brendan Morrow gold card and what's this here oh just a uh oh actually whoa what is this M marty turco uh wow that's a really cool card uh, an ex card that's really nice actually wow marty turco <laughs> okay i want to check the odds out on that that is magnificent oh my god uh i don't really have a, a decoy laying around to uh, show you the back but, uh, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. But uh, it, it looks amazing. You've got, like, the rainbow foil and then the uh, the acetate. Wow. All right, for the uh, for the stars, I'll put that aside. That's a very nice card. Holy smokes. All right. Um, and then we've got Ilya Brzgalov and then uh, Bill Guerin and Mark Savard. I've got to say, that's probably one of the best cards I've ever seen uh, in my life. That is so beautiful. Uh, EX... Well, they're actually just 1 and 8, so not super rare, but uh, they look amazing. So, uh, wow. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that for sure. Uh, now we've got 1920 OPG hobby, so getting down to it, only 4 packs to go. Let's see if we can uh, hit anything here. We've got uh, Evgeny Dadanov, Chris Tanev, Patrick Nemeth, Jeff Carter, and a JT Comfer retro card. Oh, wow, that's really nice, actually. And a Sidney Crosby playing card and this is the ace of spades that is very nice holy wow all right this looks really nice uh i'll have to check the odds on the ace of spades but i'm pretty sure the aces are uh, the most rare of them all and we've got the flyers team checklist so uh, that's pretty nice tyler johnson then a checklist and Derek forbort so yeah these uh, opg playing cards aces are one in 120 packs so that's really good, actually. That is, uh, wow. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, Crosby as well. That's really nice. All right. Now we've got uh, 0304 Series 2 Hobby. I believe you've got the uh, Tim Thomas Young Guns maybe in this. Uh, no, there's definitely the Jason Spezza one. And wow, got a piece of the pack that just absolutely uh, flew off. And uh, hello, I'm not able to open this for some reason. Okay, here we go. So we've got... Very nice looking base cards. I love these cards. Jeff Halpern, and then we've got, uh, ooh, don't know this name, UC Markinen, I guess, uh, Mike Raff, <laughs> um, Nick Boynton, and then a uh, decoy, basically, of Upper Deck. And then we've got uh, Felix Potvin, Yaroslav Soboda, and then just a couple more base cards, it seems, Igor Larionov and Mike Ribeiro. So nothing good in there, unfortunately. Maybe we can get something good here in the newer 2021 OPG hobby. Let's see here. Oh, these look kind of nice on the back. Oh, and the pack is super difficult to open. I don't want to damage anything. Uh, here we go. So, oh, wow. Oh, what? What? Whoa. Oh, my God. No way. I, wow, we got a hot pack. Uh... I don't, okay, uh, I was like, these cards don't look like the base, um, so I have heard of these in the past, I'm pretty sure if you get like a box, you can get, um, all the packs are filled with these, but, uh, I got a single pack, and are you ready for this? A Jack Eichel OPG Retro Black Parallel out of, out of 100, numbered 14, then we've got Derek Brassard, 
out of 100, 53 out of 100. Then we've got the LA Kings checklist. Turn it around, 26 of 100. Then we've got an OPG premiere tall boys of Johnny Goudreau. That is super nice. Then an Ethan Bear. This is what the regular uh, retros are supposed to look like. So we're not even getting any base in this. That is insane. And then a Nick Lidstrom Marky Legend card. That's pretty nice. Just the uh, regular Marky Legend. Then we've got a Miles Wood retro out of 100. A few of these uh, corners aren't too good, unfortunately, but uh, still really nice for uh, Miles Wood here. And then we've got Alex Goligoski. Retro out of 196. Then the Keith Yandel out of 100. This is 87. And unfortunately, the top left corner has a bit of white on it. But this is a beauty. Future Hab backup goalie Jake Allen. Numbered 15 out of 100. That is so sick. I've never hit an OPG hot pack before. That is pretty wild. Let's finish this off on a good note. We've got uh, 0506 Clear Ultra Retail. Any chance we can get a uh, Crosby here or an Ovechkin? That would probably just be incredible. Timu Solani, Glenn Murray, Brendan Witt, and then... Oh, wow! Okay, I'll take that. Ryan Suter, rookie card from uh, Fleer Ultra, 0506. That's one of the better ones. And then we've got uh, Jerome Ginla, and then Eddie Belfour, and then you flip it around. We've got uh, Peter Forsberg and uh, Nathan Horton. Wow, I mean, I'm kind of speechless. This was an amazing random pack video after all. Let's jump into the insert recap. If anyone wants to know why I love opening up the low-end cards, this is exactly why. You come in with no expectations, you're not expecting anything huge, and if you do get something big, it's just... It's awesome. So here's what we got in this random pack video, and definitely this was one of the better ones. We've got a Nick Lidstrom, Marky Legends, Ethan Bear, Retro, Johnny Goudreau, OPG Tallboys, or OPG Premier Tallboys, uh, Flyers, Checklist, JT Comfer, Retro, Brendan Morrow, Gold, Aaron Ekblad, uh, mini card, and then we've got Bo Horvat, Retro, Neil Pionk, Marky Rookies, a Colton Sissons, Retro, Braden Shen, Black Rainbow, mini card that's very nice looking and then a captain's card of marcus nasland lars eller retro jonathan taves all-star vili leno victory rookie a uh, vili koistinen marky rookies mike comrie rainbow a marky legend of tony esposito a john scott mvp rookie a robbie russo young guns a ryan Suter fleer ultra rookie card then we've got a series of OPG 2021 Retro Black Parallels out of 100 because we got a hot pack. I didn't even know you could get those, but we've got Jake Allen numbered to 100 there, you see. Unfortunately, some of these do have uh, some issue there on the corners and edges, but that's all right. Keith Yandel out of 100. Alex Goligoski also out of 100. Miles Wood out of 100. LA Kings out of 100. Derek Brassard. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and the Jack Eichel as well. So that was outstanding. Then we've got a Sidney Crosby ace card from 1920 OPG. These are one in 120 packs, and to get the Crosby is pretty amazing. And then we've got probably the most beautiful card from this opening. It's actually just one in eight packs, but it's an EX card of Marty Turco from 0809 Fleer Ultra Hobby. So yeah. That's why I love these uh, cheaper random pack videos. I'm definitely going to get some more lower end stuff because this is just so much fun. I've got a massive stack of base cards as well that I can go flip through after this. And I mean, this was just a massive, amazing opening. This was so cool. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what uh, you'd like to see in future random pack videos. And uh, wow, this was a lot of fun. I just really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you all next time.